Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with... Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Wednesdays, what's sold on eBay. Hey everybody, if you're new to our channel, welcome. We're full-time resellers from Dallas, Texas, and we bring you daily YouTube content, mostly what's sold and ship with us. And we're crazy. Sometimes. Okay, no. Woo! Uh, hey. We have 11 going out today on eBay only. Yep. We no do sales. cross list, but. Yeah, nothing on Poshmark or Mercari. Although, somebody did try to buy a blend vac on Mercari. Blend vac. Vacuum or blender? Blender. Both. Vacuum blender. Uh, twice, but the transaction didn't go through. So they that would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. Yeah. Uh, we have. 2,200 listings. This is the thing we're doing now. We were up to 2,400, almost 2,500 at one point. Now we're back down to 2,200, which is much more manageable. We feel comfortable. <laughs> but every day we list between like 10 and 15. So we want to see that number go up to 2,215, but then all the way back down to 2,200 the next day. Meaning we want to be selling as much as we're listing. That would be great. And yeah. this has happened to us today. We have 11 <clears throat> going out and we listed 12 yesterday. Yes. Pretty great. We're at 2201 right now. But we're using that as a barometer to see yep. what happens. Okay. All right, what First we got? thing, yarn. Yarn. I, I was on a yarn kick one time. I don't recommend it. All right, there's the yarn. Okay. What's next? Uh, 3499. 3499. Did I catch a niner in there? <laughs> got it. Okay, hold on. I'm grabbing a book. A bullet for Cinderella. Okay. Uh, wow. Um, hmm. Oh, you've, oh. Oh, no. 3760 or 3761. 3760. I believe this means we had a duplicate. Got a lot of international sales going today. So that's exciting. We do eBay International and Global Shipping. Global Shipping for the heavy stuff, and then eBay International for the light stuff. <clears throat> um, are they the same? Yeah. They are? Well, I think we only sold one of them, but you have in the SKU here. I have, I have two. Right. So I think maybe we just one or two. Are they exactly the same? I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Got it. Okay. That was weird. I guess we've never really done that before. Um, okay, and then uh, 5,600. So Dan's pulling. If you haven't seen our office work workroom tour, we posted it last week. Go take a look at that so you know what's happening behind the scenes here. I'm grabbing some littles out of our shelves. We have these little shelves where we keep all of our baby items. 5,600. Hundo, hunch. Okay, and then we have some boxes we need. Shoes and coats. Okay. Okay, so we need $45.99. It's a coat. And our goal is to make $200 profit a day. That's what keeps our bills paid. So we're always aiming for that. Forty-five ninety-nine. Okay. Yep. And then shoes forty-two fifty-two. Forty-two fifty-two. Yep. Weirdest stuff today. 
I'm not complaining about anything. I would never complain about sales, but it's just a very weird mix of things. That's it. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Okay, let's start with the yarn. Start it's going with to the yarn. Arkansas. All right. Uh, it was sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Just. We paid a dollar nineteen for it, so. I would probably get this again, the Lion Brand Homespun yarn, if I could find multiple skeins of it. What do you ship that in? Mm, it only weighs mm. seven. We've never really shipped yarn. It's just so. yarn, right? It's just so. yarn. Bubble mailer. <laughs> <coughs> anyway if i could find multiples it would be better i got a bunch of them but they're all different colors so sometimes to make like a scarf you need you know multiples right and it's rare to find someone that's like oh i ran out in the middle of my scarf should we use a bigger one that's a little snug a little bit a little bit snug That's better. Huh? And then we can seal it with some tape so it doesn't get wet. Hey. Let's go into Arkansas. I just relisted all of our yarn. One sold, as you just saw. And then hopefully the others will start selling too. What I mean on eBay Whoa. is that I go into the listings that are ending today. So I go to my active listings and I sort by listings ending today. And then I can't, I end them all. The ones that are really old. Over a year, I end them all. And then I go into the ended listings and I relist them. And I make adjustments to them. So I change the title or the category or whatever. It's like, it's not selling for a reason. Yep. Change the price. I didn't even weigh it. <laughs> Somebody just throw it. That's how it's <laughs> going today. I'm trying to get finished before my fittings. This is going standard international. Um, yes. To the UK. This is a rag and bone, and I was very surprised that it sold for the price that it did, but now I see it's going to the UK. The UK loves rag and bone because it's from New York. Okay. Okay. I live in the UK, I know. All right. This is the rag and the bone. It's not doing so well for us here. We don't really pick it up that much unless it's a really good price. We left a bunch of it at the bins, remember? Yeah. I mean, that is a really good price, but the condition at the bins was not that great. So this is going eBay International to the UK. It sold for us for $38, which is the price they paid us for the shirt, not the price they paid for shipping. Where are those stickers? I just want stickers. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there you go. You just love using these boxes. Yeah. I love when you use them because we have a lot of them. <laughs> we do have a lot of them. Uh, we recently changed our eBay shipping policies to exclude global shipping for things that were first class. Because when we had eBay International turned on and global shipping, global shipping was showing first. So people thought it was that. And for a first class package, global shipping is expensive. Whoa. Elbow to the face. Sorry. Ruth, the tape might run out this video. You might be in luck. Yeah. Ruth needs to know how to load her tape gun. Yeah, this tape gun's not the easiest to load. I'll, I'll give her that. Yeah. That's for sure. Is that what makes it silent? Uh oh. Uh oh. Flappies. Oh! Noise. <laughs> we would not take this much care unless, you know, it's because it's going international. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, cover all the... This is like a book box, and it's not... Oh, you're kinda, having an issue. It's kind of open on one side, you know what I mean? It doesn't like seal seal, so... Uh, somebody else in our comments asked if we could provide okay. a list of everything we use. Well, it is conveniently located below for you. And oh, if you... A lot of it. Not. I don't think everything is linked. Okay, well, Dan's going to add more. <laughs> if you click on the link, it gives us a little bit of a kickback through Amazon, and we really appreciate that. Yes. All right. This is a book. 
I bought a bunch of these Pulp Fiction. Hey, hey. It's messing with my coffee. Yeah. This is oh, John D. McDonald. I bought a bunch of these at an estate sale. I got a whole box of them. A bullet for Cinderella. <laughs> and I it's a, it's customary that I read you the what it says every time we sell um, one. In the jacket? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> People who live in glass slippers shouldn't kick stones. Oh, hey. Her veneer was big city. But one look and you knew that Tony Russell's instincts were straight out of the river shack she came from. I watched her as she toyed with the man, laughing her laughing her tumbled hair like raw blue black silk her brown shoulders bare eyes deep set a girl with a gypsy look so this was the girl i had risked my life to find this was the girl who was going to lead me to a buried fortune and stolen loot oh yeah this is her right. she's not even on there she's a lipstick and a bullet give me that other book box book box so since this is staying in the States, we will be mailing this via media mail. Shall I yes, put it? Is too large, but... Should I put it in a jacket? One of these, so that in case it gets wet. It's Cinderella's so bulletproof. I don't know what this is. Yeah, anyway, this sold for, I didn't even tell you, $20.66. That's these, amazing. These Pulp Fictions can do really well. I recommend the ones from John D. McDonald. We got a whole 10 cents into this one. Yeah. I don't know. It's they've been taking a while to sell. I'll say that though. <laughs> yes. Don't think you're gonna get a quick flip out of these. I actually bought them for a movie we were doing, and then we didn't end up using all of them, so I just listed them. It happens a lot when we're buying props, which is the greatest part about being a reseller. Yeah. Ten and a half. Eight and a half. Three quarters. Uh, the greatest part about doing props and reselling or wardrobe and reselling is that we can sell everything we don't use. That's true. Oh. Oh, that's fine. That's going to destroy the book worse than not putting it in a box. Yeah, all right, here. And you're paying, you know what I mean? You're paying more for the dimensions of that. I'm sorry to ruin yeah. your parade there, but I think you should just put a tab on it and put it in a media mailer. Okay, I can do that. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was chunking around in there. Chunking. Let's see. Will these, will this size work? Yeah. You just really wanted to use the book box. I'm sorry. You're going to be sad about it. Yep. Do mm -hmm. <laughs> anything in this? Oh, Arts and Crafts Corner. Can it go in this way? This all way? This way? Probably not. Not with the tabs like that, no. No. Because... What no. if we do that? Can the book fit though? I think you need an arts and crafts up there. I think this is just fine. I mean, yeah, that's it... pretty good. Is it going to bend though? It's a... Lizzie is dying watching us do this. Probably. Hi Lizzie, sorry. We don't do books very often. Okay, so now we measure this package. Nine by five by half. Okay. Ah, weighs much less too. Next. Okay, Hallmark Itty Bitty Star Wars C-3PO Ben Kenobi and Chewbacca mini plush lot. So I waited. I get these in junk bags all the time. <laughs> And so I collected them until I had enough to do a lot. And then Dan told me who they were because, like I know, <laughs> $18 plus shipping. Yeah. But, you know, alone, they don't go for that much. But when you put them all together, look at these little family. They're all color coordinated. Look at this. That's nice. Nice. Okay. Right. In the bag. Back in the bag. By Ben Kenobi. Later. Damn, was all, that's Ben Kenobi. Yeah. Like, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Why didn't you even know that? These are all soft for sure. Take a photo. Yeah. Can you hand me one? Please. Which one? A bubble. Oh, you can put them in a bubble. Yeah, why not? Maybe a craft is a more appropriate size, I guess. No, 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 no. 
You do what you do. I was happy with 18 bucks for those. Totally. Here, can you like, fold it over there? I'm all about the environmental impacts. See when it's like smaller, it's less of a footprint. <laughs> that's how I feel anyway. I have no idea if that's true. Okay, the next or, the next thing is a Disney Store Tigger Halloween Skeleton Costume Plush Trick or Treat, 13 inches. Um, what? Oh, I forgot how you get that. It says <laughs> Hank. <laughs> I was like, what are you even talking about? Okay. I listed this last year, but I listed it too late. So I listed it maybe October like 20th or something. And people aren't buying for Halloween necessarily that late. I thought I was right on time. I was not. So if you have Halloween stuff, I would list it right now. Like today. Holy moly. What? You are looking a little wobbles. All right, all right, come on. I gotta now. move it over. It's over here. I gotta... Oh, Lord. So, everybody was asking how we get up to the top of. Hey, just you want me to get that for you? No. How we get to the top of our vertical storage, and we use a ladder. Oh, I'm looking for a tigger. Yeah, a tigger with a skeleton. We use a step ladder. It's a little sketch. Goofy. Bambi. I wonder if Tigger fell out. No. Sometimes we have like avalanches. I don't see a Tigger. Hmm. Is that a Tigger? No, that's a, that's a Spice Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, no. Are we sure he's still in Hank? Nope, not sure. I'm going to look on Bendu. Not sure at all. Tigger. Says he's in Hank. Oh no. Here we go. Let me, uh, I mean. Just like using my eyeballs and. Yeah, it should be pretty obvious. Yeah, let me look over here real quick. Down there. Because sometimes he fall, things fall out of Hank. Yeah. You need to grab them and throw them. This is a really complex storage system we have. I thought we did plush inventory. God. Yeah, that Russian needs a knot. <laughs> not be in there. Mm. I'm sure we didn't all these so bigger. Yeah, we did not. Hmm. It just I just know it probably fell out of there. Because that one's the one that always yeah. has issues. Is it in there? <laughs> did it fall up there? Not that I can see, no. We had our avalanche yesterday. Tigger in here. Tigger, where'd you go? All right, well, we're going to have to pass on that guy and find I'm him. To, I'm going to have to search for Tigger. Go on a search. Send up the search party. I feel like I've seen him recently. Yeah. Maybe it's because I just relisted him. 13 inch. Hmm. Oh no, man. There's a tiger over there. I need, I need to look at that tiger. It's not the one we're looking for, I don't think. No, it's like Raja or something. There's a tiger and a placenta. <laughs> okay, I don't. We'll have to. I'll have to go on the hunt later. We're gonna have to go on the hunt. Yep. Okay. What's? Sometimes this happens. It's very rare, but it does. And when it does happen, it's plush. Uh huh. Every single time. Spice Rex. Okay, this is a Carhartt shirt. I guess we have two of these. This is two XL. Totally in like a skeleton. I've seen it. I no, I've know, seen it. I that. saw it too. God. This yeah. is going international too to Canada, eh? Hey. Okay, this Carhartt shirt sold for. Oh my God. 
$19. And to go to Canada, something first class calls $18. So they paid as much in shipping as they did for the shirt. Thank you. I'm still looking for Tigger. Haven't given up hope. I'll go check the bins outside later. Yeah. How would it end up in a bin without a label? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but is it possible? Absolutely. Yeah. All the Halloween flesh are in there. Yeah. And he's, but he's like a black with a glow in the dark skeleton. It should be like super obvious. Yeah. Disney kept. I just relisted these. So Disney good. Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, and Goose figure and Star Wars figure. I don't know what that means. Uh, is that it? These are what these are. Star Force. Oh, figure. Star. Force. I was like Force Star Wars. No, okay, okay, so whenever I get things like this, I see if they're kind of nerdy and listable, <laughs> and then I list them as cake toppers because awesome, right? Awesome. I don't know what this Sweet. is. They sold for five fifty plus four ninety nine shipping. All right. Happy the new home. You want a crack mailer? What do you want for these? Um, I don't know. Larger one? Yeah, a larger one. I need to get a box for the next one. See if we have one. Okay. All right. Cake topper things weigh three ounces. Oh, man. I mean, I have other boxes. Yeah. It's a little squishy. That's okay. Watch thing. This, what is this? This is a Bulova Maestro Women's Watch. What did I pay for this thing? $7? Sweet. And it sold for $60. God, I love that. I mean, the box is not going to be great. Um, that's okay. Huh? Yeah, I mean, the listing didn't say anything about a box at all. Okay. This is my necklace. No, because I can't, it doesn't open. Oh, it doesn't way. open. It opens, but not all the way, you know what I mean? I buy uh, bags of jewelry boxes at the thrift whenever I see them. For cases like Bulova is a good brand, and this lady is giving this as a gift. She sent us a lot of questions. This is one of the times where like questions turn into sales. Some people think questions never turn into sales, but sometimes they do. Nice. Is this gonna work? Please work. Nope. Hey, well, what if I take this one? Ooh. 
Okay. It's pretty tall. Hey, oh. That was a false. Okay, this doesn't work. Okay, one more option. One more. But it's gonna need some extra love. You know, like. Yep. Will this fit in me? Does it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. What? I have a juicy couture one that might. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying my best. We don't have a lot of stuff listed today. I mean, selling today. Come on. Are you kidding me? How tall is this thing? It's just, it, just right. let me wrap it. Right. <laughs> Tried all the things. Fail. So, did you tell them it's over $60? I did. A little bit more. Put a little bit of big bob around. Okay. Oh, I was going to clean it. It doesn't look like filthy. I don't know. What it... No. I wanted to clean it with a Q-tip. Because you listed these without my, you know, how I am. <laughs> my oversight. Get a paper shipping for this guy. $8.99 for expedited. Okay, five ounces. Four, four, four. Priority. Write that really big here because yes. I need a ticket. Is it? Yes, that is it. Oh, oh man, okay. somebody bought my overcoat. Yep. Dang it. <laughs> this is an Eileen Fisher women's size 1X overcoat, army green, 100% wool, knit, full length, made in the USA, and it has some flaws, but we listed it anyway and it sold for $100. In my opinion, the flaws are like negligible. They're tiny. But we did disclose them. We disclosed them in the condition field, and that comes up on the phone. California. Yeah, it's going to California. It's going to be heavy. Yeah, that's a medium flat rate. It's big, too. It's, they paid twelve ninety nine though, so. This is 2 pounds, 10 ounces. Okay. But, I'm mm -hmm. just letting you know it's heavy. But it's a flat rate. Well, if you want to keep it in those spots, sure. Yeah, let's just keep it in there. Because How much does that cost? I think thirteen ten. Okay. Thirteen eighty three. Okay. But I do kind of want to put it into. Yeah, a big poly. Yeah. Uh oh. Better order more of those. This is, there's one more, right? Only? Uh, I don't know about only. We have a bad habit of running out of stuff. If we don't notice. This is a really beautiful coat. It had some, like, almost moth holes. You know, where it had chewed through like a little bit. Nibbled on a little bit. Nib nib. So we showed pictures of it. It's still not noticeable when you're wearing it. It's really just a gorgeous coat. I hope whoever gets it loves it. Medium flat. You almost never use flat rate boxes. Yep. But time is money, and there you go, you know? Okay. 
Okay. The next thing is a pair of shoes that we got for free. <coughs> They are Nike Women's Dual Fusion gray silver running shoes, size six and a half. They sold for fifteen. We got them for free. <clears throat> we received an offer, so out they go. Yep. We don't ever really sell running shoes, like ever. Ever. So these are fifteen point nine. Nine twenty seven is the regional box cost. How much did they pay for shipping? Eight ninety nine. So did you just want to keep them in here? I mean, if you probably... Yeah, they're just like... Yeah. I think we just keep them right on in here. Did I, am I putting them in here? Oh, I see. I mash them. Padded, flat, raid, envelope. is a little bit cheaper than a regional, so why not? Yep. There we go. <laughs> Love it. All right, and then the final thing besides Tigger, which we're going to find, we're is... We're going to find Tigger. We will. We're going to have to cut and then come back, which we hate doing. Uh. Spiritual Gangster, size extra small, jumpsuit, vintage gray, super soft, overalls. Yeah, man. This is new with tags. Spiritual Gangster used to do much better than it currently is performing here's what the tag looks like spiritual gangster we got that for two dollars and fifty cents cool and it sold for thirty eight dollars there we go Twelve ounces. Alright, we're gonna cut we're gonna go find Tigger. We're going on a safari. Oh, right. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> took five minutes, <laughs> so it's fine. But we got him. We found Tigger. He was in bin A in the garage. He's hiding. Alright. This is Halloween Tigger. There you go. He sold for $18. He's going to Florida. Florida. He's got a little treat bag. All right. He's trick or treat Tigger. That's what he is. He's cute. Okay, I think, how much do they pay for shipping? Mm. It doesn't weigh that much. Tigger, what we got? $4.99. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to ship him. What about a big bub? Let's see how much that weighs. Give me a big bub. He's got a tag, though. No, you don't. Hmm? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, oh, no. okay. yeah. Bye. Boom. Boom. He's, he's got these little beady eyes. He'd be out. Right? Yeah. Everyone's cringing at home. Don't do it. Oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. I think I got a big book. <laughs> I love when their little heads broke out. Hello. <laughs> It looks like one of our cats. They definitely would get into something like that. For sure. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. All right. 13 ounces. Lovely. Refresh my shipping page. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Give me the dimensions of the rag and bone. Rag and bone. It says book box, so ten and a half, eight and a half, yeah. and, right. and I mean, some good ones. A hundred dollar coat, that's good. Stays, that 
16 ounces. The Carhartt's in the big box also, right? Somebody asked if we could show the printing of the labels, and unfortunately we can't because people's information is on that screen. Right. Sorry. We'll figure out a way though. We'll figure out something. Flat rate, medium box. Okay. No oh, Poshmarks, that's weird. I'm we doing really well on Poshmark. Um, que paso? There is no... Mm, what? There's no address for the Nike shoes. How? It didn't load, I gotta read it. Oh, okay. Spam calls, getting all there the spam goes. calls. I just gotta re enter everything again. Yay! Yay! Hooray! Some people do their labels one by one which we could do, but in our setup, since there's two of us, it works better for us to do them in the bulk. Yep. Shipping tool. Okay, this was medium ale. Five ounces, nine by five, ooh, not nine, nine, nine by five, five point five. I have costume fittings today. I'm trying to get out of here at a good hour so I can get to those on time. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Eight and a half, ten and a half, one. Customs form. Check. Apply. So we are full time resellers. We put in full time hours, both of us at least eight hours a day reselling. At least. But we also both have outside jobs as well. <laughs> Put us over the 40 hours right. a week, okay? Medium box. Yeah, I feel like we work a lot. I think both of us on average work two or three hours a day outside of reselling as well. Yeah. So well, normally we're working 10 to 11 to 12 hour days. But you know what? It's on our terms. That's true. Take Love that. Okay, puzzle? No, I, I got a pen. <clears throat> See, I got you a pen cup. Do you love it? Love it. Yes. Come on, labels. Ready, set. Come on. Yikes. Going very slow. There, goes. there it goes. All right. Maybe it was the two international ones that took some time. Yeah, you have to be careful if you're using the bulk shipping and doing international because it comes out in a different order. So we check and triple check and double check and quadruple check. Yeah, they print out at the end, regardless of where they are on the pick list. And they also don't show up on your scan form. So you have to scan them separately. Should I put those in a separate bag for you? Sure. Similar to a Poshmark experience. That would be great. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can put in the items together over on the venue today since we have a little extra time. I think you guys will like that. What is happening with the computer? You have to reboot. Very, very strange. Try this again. Print. Okay, anyway, this is the yarn. Yarn, yarn, yarn. Oh. Ooh. We're going to take the people over to do the bookkeeping today. It's going to be fun. Then we can do something like how we use Vendu to keep our books. Okay. We're always trying to figure out what to title these videos. The Bullet for Cinderella. Bullet from my Valentine. You ever listen to that band? Uh, yeah, a little bit. All right, this is the Hallmark Star Wars lot. This 
is Halloween Tigger. He tried to escape. He sure did. Captain Marvel figures. Nick Fury. That's right. Oh, it was a fuzzy. Uh, this is the Bulova watch. Bulova. Is it? Yeah. The Oileen Fisher overcoat. You said Oileen. Oileen. <laughs> Come on, Oileen. <laughs> Shoes. Hmm, Nike? Nike. Nike. Rate, yeah. Wakey. <laughs> Wakey. <laughs> Spiritual gangster. Oh. Easy that killer. Don't know my own strength. Okay, this, this one is Rag and Bone Mock Neck Tank Top. These are the two internationals, right? Yes. We got the coolest Carhartt piece at the bins. I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah. Really cool. And this is the Carhartt shirt. Carhartt. Carhartt. I'm Ray Zelensky. We love Tommy Boy. Thumbs up <laughs> if you love Tommy Boy. I bet we get all the thumbs up. Yes. Okay, so right. we're going to jump over to my side. We're just going to do it all together. Yeah, man. And then Dan will shield you from people's addresses when that needs to happen. We're Wait, just, what? we're winging this. We're going to wing it. What do you mean shield from addresses? You know, when, yeah, you're just going to like put the camera on you. Sing a song. It'll be great. I've been saving these, you guys. We're going to do a shred a thon. Dan even got some shredder cleaner. What did you get? It was weird. Yeah, it was weird. Like shredder sheets. Shredder sheets. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shredder. Alright, I'm putting on my card again. Okay. Shipping costs are written down. Alright, walk it on over. Come there on, we're go. doing this live. We're oh, live in it. Have a scan form and great. put that in there. Oh, All right, here we go. We're going on a trip. Everybody, hold on. Not, e not everybody appreciates camera moves, so camera move coming in. <laughs> Shield yourself. Okay. It's a little messy. These are our things we're going to list today and tomorrow. Hey. Look at these boots. Show them those boots. They're so good. They're from boots. the 90s. They're candies. Yeah, yeah. super 90s, chunky candies 90s, boots. 90s, 70s, you know? Right, and some potentially fake golden gooses. I gotta check. I gotta really check in to check out the authenticity on this. Yeah, if anybody knows. First ever golden goose find. Okay, so Dan, this is our pick list. I'm just gonna walk you through this without showing you too close, he writes the shipping costs down, what we actually paid the post office or, you know, to get our labels. Right. So I transfer them to these tickets. I know you're like, why would you do all that work? Well, that's just what I do. Okay. A little bit of redundancy. It's 483, okay. I'm just gonna, so the Spiritual Gangster, I'm gonna walk you through this so you understand the costs. 483 for Spiritual Gangster, the Nikes, we spent 820 to mail them. The Eileen Fisher coat cost thirteen eighty three to mail. The Bulova watch eight thirty four because that got mailed priority, even mm -hmm. though it was less than a pound. Disney figures three forty two. The Carhartt International. What did I do with that receipt? Carhartt. See, they're out of order. That's why. Yep. Carhartt uh, eighteen dollars to ship to Canada. The Disney Store Tigger. 572 because we were able to get it first class. Hallmark Itty Bitties, $3.99. A Bullet for Cinderella, $3.49. Rag and Bone going to the UK, $22. 
It costs us $22 and they pay $22. Okay. Lion brand yarn, $3.79. Now, here's where I get the numbers. This is a question I get all the time. <laughs> I go to payments on so, our seller hub. Right. So if you go to your seller hub, which is your active listings, then I go to payments, all transactions. This is where I get my numbers. And they tell you, I don't think there's any addresses on here, so I think we're good. It just has it usernames. It has usernames, That's so fine. I'll, still, I'll stay back here. Um, okay. I, yeah, okay. So the first item is this yarn, and it says right here, you can come in, it's, I think it's fine, right? It's fine. I'll put my finger right here. So the yarn says $14.99. This is, they paid, remember I told you it sold for $10 plus $4.99 shipping? That's the $10 and the $4.99 shipping. Right. This is the fees I paid to eBay. And then right above it, this is the fees I paid for promotions. I see. Okay. And so I put both of these on my ticket. So come down here to my ticket. The sale price is all in $14.99. So they paid $4.99 shipping, but I only charged $3.79. So we made a buck on shipping. That's okay. Oh, Sometimes yeah. that happens. You, we didn't charge we paid three seventy nine. Exactly right. Exact. Thank you for that. Yep. So my fees are two twenty seven plus one fifty one. Notice I'm not dealing with sales tax or anything crazy like that. Right. Nothing on this screen. It just gives you the eBay fees. So and then that's three seventy eight. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do that for all of these, and then you're gonna know how much profit when we put it into Vendu. Yeah. So for the rag and bone, sixty dollars. I'm just gonna walk you through it fees were 781 that did not go promoted sweet the bullet book 1963 all in 303 and i paid 293 in promotions this is what i do when you when he goes to the post office i sit here and <laughs> do all of this so 596 in fees on that book Whew. itty bitties 22.99 all in 325 in ebay fees and 263 in promotions you can choose what promotion rate works for you. You can talk to them about that, please. Yeah, so currently we promote everything in our store, and we promote it aggressively, <laughs> as you can tell by some of these promotion fees. So we go in and we use, um, we create a promotion, and we use the bulk, um, bulk tool to do that, and we promote every single listing that we have at eBay's suggested rate, plus an additional... Uh, it varies somewhere between three and four percent. Uh, we just we pick whatever we feel like we want to do for that week, um, and then we cap. We also institute a cap on promotions with like a maximum of fifteen percent, I believe. Okay. And we found that that strategy works well for us. Yeah. Bolivar, sixty-eight ninety-nine all in, eight sixty in eBay fees, and six ninety-four in promotions. Fifteen fifty-four, one twelve ninety-nine. So, 15, I mean, yeah, we are paying more in promotion fees, but it's netting us more sales, and we're still making good profit at the end of the day. And, and there's no way to know that had these items not been promoted, if they ever would have sold. We just don't know. So. All we know is that we try to make $200 a day profit. Right. <laughs> we're meeting that goal consistently. So whatever we're doing is working as far as we know. And that's, you know, the guesswork involved with this job. You got to go with what the data is. And the data is saying that we're making money. So... I can tell you what, before we started promoting Heavenly, we were not making this much money. That's true. I can tell you that. We can look at the numbers for that. Okay, so now that I have my receipts done, I go to Vendu, which is our cross-listing extension that we use on Google Chrome. And I type in spiritual gangster. God. <laughs> so the spam callers have started like... Double calling? Triple. Jeez. So it gets through any... Um, do not disturbs. Mm -hmm. Lame. Be careful out there. Spiritual gangster jumpsuit. And so you can see that I have this listed on eBay, Toshmark, and Mercari. Hang on, let me get in here for the people that don't know Vendu. Okay. So I'll go back to the beginning. Here's, I put in spirit, and then Hold this came, comes up. Focus. There it goes. Spiritual gangster is right here, and these let me know that it's on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Okay. I click into it. 
I go over here to eBay because that's where it's sold. And instead of listed, I click mark as sold. And then I'm gonna insert my info here. So $42.99 all in, whoa. Cost of item to us was $2.50. The marketplace fees were $11.37 altogether. And the shipping we actually paid was $4.83. And then it, it delists from Poshmark and Mercari. Okay. Automatically. Nice. And then up here, my profit number is $24.29. Sweet. On that one purchase. Yep. So we're gonna get into the Nikes. I'll just walk you through each one. And I think it's helpful to see how much fees you're spending. If you're not doing this like everyday bookkeeping, you might be losing money mm. or what are these called? Dual fusion. Here they are. They're only listed on eBay, so I hadn't cross-listed these. $23.99. Cost of item was free to us. Marketplace fees was $6.85 and $8.20 in shipping. $8.94 profit. Not bad for free shoes. All right. <clears throat> now, when I type in Eileen Fisher, everything comes up. Everything. <laughs> I would like to show you this, though. Eileen Fisher. Come on, Vendu. You can do it. We have 56 active, and we sold 127 so far. Nice. Isn't that crazy? Wool. Overcoat right here. Yes, there we go. Mark as sold. So all in. This sold for $112.99. 905 was our cross of goods. $27.49 in promotions and fees together. $13.83 in shipping. However, we still made $62.62 on that. Okay. And it was damaged. You know what I mean? That's yep. great. We used to not list damaged stuff. We would be too afraid. Blah, blah, This one, right? Yes, that one. Mark as sold. All in. This person was $68.99. I'll take that. Cost of goods, $6.99. Marketplace fees. We don't pay taxes on our cost of goods. I should mention that. Yeah, we got a uh, sales and use tax resale certificate in the state of Texas. Thirty-eight twelve. So everything that we buy for resale, uh, we do not pay state uh, sales tax on. Disney Marvel. Hopefully you guys are at home working along. I love those comments where the people are like, yeah, I was working along with you. I love that. Marketplace fees. It gets lonely reselling. Yep. So these little cake toppers, two forty six. <clears throat> hey, they would have gone to the dumpster. I'm happy with that. Carhartt. And it was this. Mark as sold. $37 all in. Remember, this was an international shipping charge. They only paid $19.99 for the thing, but $18 shipping. Right, right, right. So the cost of the item to us was $149. The marketplace fees were $6.75, and the shipping was $18. So we made $10.76. It just looks weird. It looks like they paid us $37 for the shirt, but that's just not what happened. Right. Okay, we're almost done. Tigger. We found all the tiggers except the one. Dan kept finding tiggers in the flesh bins. Hey, what what, I don't know what's going on. Active tiggers. Here we there go. We Look go. at all these tiggers we have. And he was cross listed and he sold on eBay. This person was $22.99 all in. $249 was our cost of goods. $613 in fees. Shipping was $572. $865 profit on that little guy. Hallmark itty bitties. There they are. There's a little family. Mark is sold. $22.99 all in. $164 cost of goods. $588 fees and $399 shipping. Gives us a profit of $11.48. And a bullet book. We're almost done, kids. Sweet. It doesn't take that much time. You just have to do it yep. every day. This guy is $19.63 all in. 10 cent cost of goods, 596 in fees, and 349 to ship. 1008 profit on that one book. And we're gonna do the rag and bone. These were the rag. And come on. The news been acting real slow today. Mm -hmm. This is 3499 is our inventory number. Mark as sold. This person is 60 all in. 599. Cost of goods, seven eighty one in fees and twenty two in shipping. Twenty four twenty you made on that. Last one, the yarn. Let's see if we made any money. <laughs> this was an experiment. Yeah, right. Lion. It was the waterfall yarn. 
1499, 119, 378 in fees, and 379 shipping. 623. Hey. Okay, so now comes the fun part, the analytics. So this is normally where Jan picks up. He'll come in after the post office and be like, hey, what do we make today? Yep. And I'm like, oh, I just inserted everything. And we go to this analytics tab and we go to today. 11 items sold. Yeah. Just made it. Just made it. 207.83 in total profit for the day. What? We just made it. That's awesome. So 437 in sales. We just made our 207 profit. Even with these little sales, we still made it. And that's what counts. 39 average sale per. This is definitely an inflated figure. Because, because of, those, of the two super high shipping fees. Exactly yep. right. Yep. So this is inflated. We're not going to put too much stock into that. But what we are going to look at is it's seven days into the month. So we should have $1,400 in profit. And we have seventeen yes. sixty-four. Yes. Love it. So those daily goals really help. And we just are working toward always pushing to get to that $200 profit a day. We don't always make it, but... We'll send out aggressive offers if it's getting later in the day. You know, yeah, for sure. having those daily goals is really helpful. Hope you found this helpful too. <laughs> Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And catch up with us later tonight on the other channel, which is linked in the description down below, where we do live listing on eBay every Monday through Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Central. We'll see you there. Bye.